Hello, my name is Risto Lefto. I am technical trainer for Schneider Electric. Today I want to show to you how to establish a connection between uh, ECG Pro setting tool and the protection relay. In front of each P3 uh, protection relay, you have a USB port which is IP54 protected. And if you remove the cover, you can connect with the Schneider REL52822 cable to the PC. The connection will create the USB serial uh, instance in the Windows and for that we need to know which COM port it created. That we can check from the device manager in the Windows. Uh, secondly, we need to configure the front port speed. By default, uh, it has a setting of 38,400 bit and uh, if we want to change that setting, we have to equalize it with the setting tool. In order to do so, we will scroll down to the device configuration menu Uh, where we see the initial speed. In this, for instance, example, it is 187,500 bit per second. This is the only setting we need to do in order to make a connection to the relay. After you have downloaded the ECG Pro zip file from Schneider homepage, it is very easy to install it. You just need to open the zip file, you select the directory inside the zip file and you extract it. After that, you enter to the directory and you can see the ECG Pro exit file and uh, you double click. Uh, to establish the connection after we have connected the uh, cable to the front port, we press on connection on and ECG Pro will provide us with a list of COM ports which are available uh, in the windows. In order to know which of the COM port we need to use or which is connected to the relay, uh, we can check it by uh, typing device manager uh, into the windows search. And we go and look under the ports, COMs and LPTs, and you will see that USB serial port 12 has been uh, reserved for the relay connection. After that, we will select COM 12 uh, and we will press connect. And the, the program automatically will read uh, device information from the relay, so we will see which relay we are going to connect to. At the same time, we can define whether we will connect user, operator, configuration level. By default, when the relay is uh, uh, delivered from the factory, there is a predefined set of uh, passwords. User has no password, operator has the password number one, and configurator has the password number two. In this case, if we directly select, for instance, the configurator, it will give the password 2. In case the password, default password from uh, factory has been changed, we need to uh, uh, en enter the uh, correct password. In that case, we go to the same connection and we uh, select the same COM port and we choose connect. In this case, if the passwords one, zero, 01 or 02 has been changed, we will enter the password first uh, to whatever has been defined and in this case we can also tick that uh, for the future connections it will remember this uh, new password. In case the device, uh, P3 device is uh, equipped with an Ethernet port it is also possible to use the connection from the rear Ethernet port. In that case, we can use the standard Ethernet cable and we will connect it to one of the port on the back side.
then we connect it to our even the port on the PC. After that, well, I need to configure IP address. So initially, this relay is equipped with the default IP address, which can be changed. Uh, I will scroll down to a menu called bus. And then I will go one step to the right and I once I reach the menu bus, I will press the arrow key to the right until I have even a port configuration on the screen and from here I can see the IP address. And the IP address uh, subnet must match to your PC adapter settings. In order to, to do that or to change, you can change the IP address here from the front or you can add this a IP address to your PC. After that, when we open the EZ Pro Studio and we take a connection, uh, instead of serial, now we will select Ethernet and we will uh, write into the field the IP address of the relay and take a connect. An alternative solution to connect to the EZ uh, P3 uh, protection relays from Schneider Electric uh, to ECG Pro is to use uh, web server where you do not need this setting tool at all and you can use your browser. Uh, in order to be able to use it, uh, you need to enable one parameter under the communication where uh, the set enable HTTP server has to be ticket and activated. Uh, once uh, you have activated the HTTP server and you have uh, knowledge of the IP address, you just simply open your browser and you directly write the IP address. Uh, the device will answer with a login screen and you have to know uh, the, the user. So the configurator is, uh, 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 in this case the username will be conf and password too. Uh, after the accepted uh, login, uh, the device will answer you with the menus available and, and you can uh, uh, check through the menus, you can do protection setting changes, you can do uh, other uh, changes uh, almost in the same way you would be using ECG Pro. After you are finished with the uh, settings or evaluation of some measurements, uh, you can take a configurator and log out. As you can see, it is really simple to use, install the ECG Pro and establish the connection to the relay. Thank you for watching this movie and for further information about the Schneider products, please visit our web page schneider-electric.com. In order to add an IP address range to your uh, PC adapter, uh, you can use control panel. Uh, after that, you will select change adapter settings uh, you will select which are your local area connection double click on it uh, change uh, properties and select the IPv4 standard after that you click properties and you will have a fixed or dynamic IP address here but if you click on this advanced button you can add the same IP address range you have in the relay, but you will select uh, the, the host IP to be a different number.